<laughs> Hello there, Carol Sayoga is with Kimono Momo, and this is Lily. She's decided to investigate today. Um, she wanted to be on my lap. Uh, so continuing on from the last video I did, we were talking about Shugata, the uh, stencil dyeing, and how uh, traditionally some stencils were done front and back. And how that's really not carried over so much today? Well, it kind of is, I'm pleased to say. I just got a huge delivery from Japan. I order these in October and I forget when I'm getting until they show up in January and February. Um, so the ones behind me are brand new. These are gorgeous. They're, they're beautiful heavy duty cottons and they are dyed on both sides. So this stuff is really cool. Nice big prints on the front. Bold colors on the other side. Uh, some of the blue ones tend to be blue and natural on both sides. The greens are, are a little different. Really fun. I mean, the texture of this is, it's a nice loose weave. It's upside down. Or right side up, doesn't matter. So these are something you could probably make uh, table napkins out of. This would be great for a garment for a summer. It's, it's got enough weight to it. I think you could add it to a jacket. It's really fun. I have no idea what I'm going to do with them yet. But what I also have on hand are some really great older pieces. These are um, probably late 19th to early uh, 20th century katazomes that are indeed dyed on both sides. So here you have the flower and the same flower. So that is not dyed through. It is actually stencil dyed on both sides. So the stencil would have gone over with the resist paste and then flipped over and done on the other side once the resist had dried and then dyed in a vat of indigo. So this particular one that's got the nice crisp white color going on um, with a light shining through it, which I I'm, I'm, didn't think of doing until just now, I can actually see a little bit of shadowing in the, in the stenciling where it doesn't quite match up. There's maybe like um, a couple of millimeters off, but otherwise it's pretty gorgeous. This other piece I'm going to be writing about a little bit more in the future because this piece is, to me, rather extraordinary. It is a uh, grayish, as you can see, grayish fiber, and I wasn't really sure what it was for quite a while. And I did a burn test, and I've done some other research on it, and now I think I know what it is. Uh, I will be writing a blog post about it. I'm probably going to be doing a little more video work on it. I'm sorry, this is... Let me get it where you can see it. There we go. A really nice stencil. Again, probably late 19th to early 20th century. So I almost want to say deco, art deco era. Of course, it's, it's not really. It's, uh, pardon me, wants to say gilded age, but that's just getting a little too Anglo. Anyway, front, back, same. There's uh, sun fading. This was a futon cover. Uh, there is some wear on it and the fiber has really held up astoundingly well. I suspect it was in storage for a long time. This was a futon cover that I purchased several years ago and then took apart, washed, and rolled back up onto the bolt. But, you know, in storage, not, not while I've had it because it's been preserved, but while it was stored at some point, part in somebody's closet or whatever, it, uh, it did fade. But wow. Real indigo. Beautiful weave. Cool stuff. And just to compare the two, take a look. The dark and the light and how intense the color is and how the fibers appear and how the dye on um, the white cotton really, you, the, the, the indigo is almost black and the white is so very stark. And on this, the gray is so subtle that the blue looks a little more washed out. Anyway cool things to think about. Dying on both sides, for those of you who are dyers, that is complicated and my hat is off to you. And for those of you who are quilters looking for a fun challenge, double-sided cottons, brand new. I'm very happy about these. I'm going to start experimenting with them. I will have um, fat quarter packs and swatch packs available if you need swatches. We're, we are swatching everything. We have dozens of new bolts in stock that just came in this week and the swatches are going to be at least four inches because we cut a four inch strip off the start of the bolt so they will be four inches by about four inches when I cut them so I will have swatch packs 
with collections all put together. Ooh, here's another one that Thomas bundled up for me. Doesn't that look gorgeous? <laughs> These are all beautiful yarn dyed Japanese cottons with an incredible weave to them. The white even has like little streaks of pink in it and there's blacks and grays and beiges and browns. So if you're looking for Japanese topes, these are Westex topes. They are not the Daiwabu because I don't carry those anymore. Um, other new stuff, bark cloth. This is another really cool weave. Bark cloth traditionally, I love saying traditionally, don't I? Uh, was historically made with tree bark and this of course is not. Uh, this is more the cotton that you might be familiar with from something like a Hawaiian shirt. Very mid-century look, very mid-century feel. It's not reverse dyed, but has a nice sort of faded look to the back. And let's see if I can get it close enough for you to really see the weave. It's got a good texture to it. And I think it'll be fun to play with. Again, this would be good for garments. These would be good for garments. And um, I will have so many quilt fabrics up and running very, very soon that I, I'm wading through them. Just piles. It's a lot of fun. You wish you could be here, I know. If you want to make an appointment to come see me in Alameda, California, you can always give me a call or email me or contact me here on, um, on YouTube. I'm also, please check out my blog, theardentthread.com, and that is a good place to reach me. Uh, you can always reach me at Carol, no, sorry, backtrack, kimonomomo at gmail.com, or reach me through my Etsy store, which is kimonomomo on Etsy. Again, my name is Carol, and I will uh, have more on these guys coming up. Thanks for watching.